Hi, I'm Callie King from CRK Training and Horsemanship, and welcome back to our Friday blog video. Uh, what we're going to go over today is the most common mistakes that I see beginning riders make. Um, so I'm really gearing this video to um, you know the newbies out there. If you're just starting out, um, this is what you might want to take a look at and see if you can recognize any of these mistakes. Or if you're more experienced, um, see if you've made these mistakes before, and then in the comments. Um, help out our newer riders if you have any suggestions with you know how you got better with these things. So one of the first things that I see is the way that people hold the reins. Um, so first I'm just going to move her up here. I'm going to show you the correct way to hold the reins. So this is how you want to hold them. Thumbs up. I've got three fingers on the rein. I've got my pinky on the other side. Now you can also hold it with your pinky on. That's still correct. Kind of just depends on what discipline you're doing. Um, but I see a lot of people that hold the reins like this. What this does is it pushes your elbows out and when you're trying to steer and stuff, notice as you steer here, you've got limited range of motion through your shoulders. So that's the one mistake. The other one, this is a real newbie mistake, but I'll still go over it. I see sometimes people grab the reins like this. Um, and sometimes as you're learning, you might hold them this way and as you try to shorten them for whatever reason, I see people switch around so that they're holding the reins like this. Um, this is a really awkward way to hold your reins. And I think if you just switch back and forth just to kind of let yourself feel the difference, this is really awkward and no one really holds their reins like this in any discipline. So that is the rain mistake I make. Um, the other one I'm gonna go over is some big position mistakes. So I would say the most common is um, kind of what I call the scared rider. So they tend to lean forward a little bit like this and they're gripping with their legs. So there's a lot of tension gripping the saddle with their knee and they tend to lean forward because they think, you know, it makes you feel like you're more ready for whatever the horse is gonna do if you're lean forward like this. Um, but what it does, if you're gripping a tense horse, it's gonna make your horse a lot more excitable. And also when you're gripping with your legs like this, you don't have as good a balance and you're actually not gonna stay on the horse as well because you're not centered and balanced through your seat. You're just here gripping and you're forward. So that's the first one, probably the most common. Second position mistake that I see a lot is um, what I kind of call the chair seat. So where they ride super relaxed back like this and the legs kind of go a little bit too far out in front and they're just back here like this. So relaxed, yes, um, but definitely not as good of control of the horse. And when you're really slouched like this, it actually puts a lot more weight on the horse's back. Um, there are studies out there that, um, not even equestrian studies, but just for people with like posture and back problems. If you have a forward head position and you stick your head forward for, I think it's every inch that your head goes forward, there's actually an extra 10 pounds of pressure on your spine, which for a horses means an extra 10 pounds in the saddle. So when you see people all slouched out like this, um, it's just like the horse carrying a sack of potatoes around. If you can carry yourself with a little bit more posture, um, it's going to make uh, a much better ride just for your horse. Now I'm going to move down to the feet. See another big position mistake is that people shove their foot really far in the stirrup like this. Um, number one, it's a safety hazard because if something happens and you've got your foot way in the stirrup, it could get caught up a lot easier. Um, the second thing is you just can't balance as well and you tend to go more forward like this where the toe kind of goes down and it pushes your leg back um, if you've got your foot too far in the stirrup. So you want to keep that, uh, that stirrup right on the ball of your foot and um, you also want this part to be just a little more forward. So you want the outside of that stirrup just a little bit more forward than the back part. So it's kind of angled just like it is on my foot there. So now we're gonna go into some riding mistakes that I see people make a lot. So the first one is um, definitely with steering. So I see a lot of people that steer like this. So notice I'm pulling back on the horse's um, bit to steer. And as I'm doing this, I'm pushing my shoulder forward. So there's no opening and steering the horse through my body. It's just all pulling back and notice how my shoulder's rolling forward here, which is gonna block the motion. Now she's still steering around nicely here because we're just walking along. But if you're having trouble, maybe your horse is kind of getting like stuck in one corner as you're trying to do a circle or something, definitely watch that you're not doing this. Make sure you keep those thumbs up, 
You're opening through your body and you're opening out a little bit more with your hand and your shoulder. So that's um, the one tip I wanted to go over. And I would say the last thing that I really see a lot is um, with stopping. So I see a lot of people that when they want to stop their horse, they kind of do this. So they pull forward and as they're, I mean, they pull the reins back, but as they do that, their body's going forward. Um, so again, she stopped there pretty nicely, but it wasn't a very gradual stop. And um, if you have a horse that's hard to stop, this is gonna make them even harder. So I'm gonna show you again what I see people doing is this, pulling back and tipping forward through their body. The right way to stop is to tighten your abs and rock back. So notice that time I didn't even have to touch her mouth to stop. Let me show you that one more time. Walking forward and stop. So you could probably actually hardly see what I was doing for that stop and that's what you want because it was so subtle. Molly could feel it completely fine um, but it looks a lot smoother when you can give those subtle cues and you're not here just pulling all over on the horse. So um, that was this week's blog video. Most common mistakes that I see, if, um, if you've seen any that maybe I left out or any that you struggle with, um, throw them in the comments and um, you know, maybe we can address them in another video if it's something that we didn't cover here. So thank you for watching and make sure to sign up for our weekly updates so you don't miss any of these videos.